Good morning, Forest. I'm Kaylin Bowen. Today's date is Wednesday, September 11th, and you're watching WCAT. Today marks an important day in history. 23 years ago today, almost 3,000 people lost their lives due to a terrorist attack on the Twin Towers and the World Trade Center. Members of our ROTC program conducted a ceremony this morning to honor the lives that were taken all those years ago. Never forget. This Thursday, state testing will begin. Thursday, September 12th, will be a testing schedule with an A block and no cat. Friday, September 13th, will be a testing schedule with B block, also with no cat. The following Monday, September 16th, will return to a normal one through six day schedule. On the testing days, ninth and 10th graders will take their baseline progress monitoring assessment for language arts that will help them know where they need to improve for the test in the spring. 11th and 12th graders, if you need testing to meet your graduation requirements, opportunities will be available. Please speak with Ms. Price if you have any questions. Also a reminder, check your school email to see if you have any library or textbook debts. You will need to clear debt before you can purchase your homecoming tickets. If you did not receive an email, you do, have, you do not have any debt. Return any lost books you have, including books from other schools. Students can pay their debt online at the RevTrack website. Directions on how to do that can be found in the same email. Only overdue fines and printing fees can be paid in person. Guest forms for HOKO are now available as well as powder puff signups, so head to the activities office if you need to grab any of those forms. NHS member applications are also out. Freshmen cannot become members yet. If you have any questions about NHS, please email bethany.crawford at marion.k12.fl.us. Any students interested in joining the library volunteer team, book club, or book bowl team can now pick up member packets in the upstairs rotunda. The Forest Wildcats will square off against the Horizon Hawks at 7 p.m. on Friday. Both have had a bumpy ride up to this point with four consecutive losses dating back to the last season for Forest and three for Horizon. Forest came up short against Trinity Catholic on Friday, falling 34 to 14. Meanwhile, Horizon came up short against Wakiva on Friday and fell 28 to 21. Horizon might have lost, but man, Cal Oliveira was a machine. He rushed for 154 yards and three touchdowns. Forest defeat dropped their record down to zero to three. As for Horizon, their loss dropped their record down to an identical zero to three. Tonight, our swim team races against and beat Bellevue. For sports yesterday, we had a girls volleyball game at Westport. Varsity girls won three out of four sets and JV also won out of their two sets. Remember, Friday is the home football game, so make sure to get your tickets. Students, if you ever find yourself missing school supplies, you can go to The Rock. The Rock is open if you are in need of school supplies or clothes. You can go on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Fridays from 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Well, Wildcats, that's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on all our social media platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, X, and the new app threads. Once again, I'm Kaylin Bowen. Thanks for tuning in, and like always, go Cats!